Hey everyone, UEBS2Hub here, and in this battle we have an interesting one with 1 million zombies, that tends to be about what I'd like to do, versus 30 heroes, including 30 Nikola Teslas, 30 Keanu Reeves slash Sean Wicks, and 30 Chuck Norris's. That's right, we've got a super crew here with a triangle formation facing off against 1 million zombies. Let's get into it. And also, let me know what you guys think about this idea, and give me some ideas for new videos. I am always interested, and let me know if you guys like the commentary. But that said, it looks like the heroes are off to a pretty decent start. We already have nearly 50,000 zombies dead. And bear in mind that the Chunk Test, or the Chunk, Chuck Testa, <laughs> the Chunk Norrises, uh, as they are, they do a lot of splash damage, which kicks enemies up into the air, and once they hit the ground, it kills them. So if you see a discrepancy between total amount of kills and the troops remaining for the zombies, that's because that is the Chunk Norris's at work. But over here we have the Teslas, and they are doing quite a bit of work. Remember, we have got 10 each, 10 Teslas, 10 Norris's, 10 John Wick, Keanu Reeves. And these are doing a heck of a job just taking out a bunch of zombies at once. They don't have great range, unlike the Keanu Reeves's, because as you can see, I mean, like, you can just follow a trail of bodies all the way back. All the way back. And with each one of those shots, I mean, they are killing It's pretty much all the way back here. I mean, there's still bodies all the way back here. There's a straight line. But that's beside the point. Oh, man, you can just see those bodies flying with the uh, Chunk Norris's. Wonder who's going to win, who's going to get the most kills. We've got to take over a John Wick here. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow, just auto-fires. That's crazy. I can just fire right into the crowd, take out a thousand, why not? Let's, you know, oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So when you're moving, it doesn't... The guns don't tend to move, but when you're just sitting here, they go up and down. And it looks like it's just a crazy spray fire. But it doesn't really matter if I aim or not, because it's always going to fire like that. So let's see. Okay, I'm getting way more kills just kind of aiming into the crowd here. Rather than just at these guys here. I let my cronies do the work. Pretty darn cool. But, in order not to influence the match too much, I'll get right back out of it. So not a single one of the heroes, because they are called hero units, not a single one of them have died yet uh, for the loss of nearly 300,000 zombies. And again, this is where you can really start to see the discrepancy. It appears as though around 50,000 units have been killed by the Chunk Norris's uh, via splash damage and being thrown up into the air, kind of like these fools. So tens of thousands of them have been killed in that way. So if the rate continues like this, we could imagine about one-sixth or give or take, what, around 150-ish thousand, if I'm not mistaken? 160,000 uh, dead uh, from that fashion by the end of the match. But we still have a ton left. Who knows? You know, we could see... Uh, Keanu Reeves or uh, John Wick die. We don't know. It looks like there's a kidney forming here. But at this point, we're kind of seeing almost three distinct circles of influence. Spheres of influence, if you will. With the Nikola Teslas over here on the right. They're controlling the right flank. The Chunk Norris is right here in the middle just being surrounded and just kicking butt. And then the John Wicks off in the back, killing the left side, but also providing support on the right in a tiny bit in the middle. But it appears as though we are getting a lot of kills. And you can just see these huge blood paths where John Wick is killing. I mean, oh man, this is how far back the zombies were at one point. All the way back here, it looks like skid marks of some kind. But with each one of these bullets, it just goes all the way back and goes through them all because they are counted as a special type of projectile, a uh, super bullet, which does tremendous damage and just cuts through literally everything. 
It's not like an SMG where it has a limited range. Uh, the super bullets are, if I'm not mistaken, unlimited range, and they just pierce. That's all they do. They just go right through. So, we are now at the halfway mark in terms of how many zombies are dead. And bear in mind, this isn't like, you know, where, uh, where it's troops, like 50,000 troops versus 2 million zombies, right? Where the troops kind of have to uh, have a limited area, and with each troop that they lose, it's a big loss. Whereas zombies... They're still inflicting the same amount of pressure around these these chunk Norrises as they would be if they had a million zombies left or even 200,000 zombies left. It's the fact that they can be surrounded which really matters. And once this gets worn down to about here, give or take, once the lines start breaking in order to try to surround the various groups. So you have uh, on the right here, on the left, and in the middle... Once they start running out of reinforcements, and it looks like it's weakest on the left and the right sides, then you're going to start seeing a pretty dramatic shift in um, in how this battlefield looks. Not that it's going to influence the outcome of it, of course, but just in how the computer reacts to this. They're always trying to flank, uh, at least when they have numerical superiority. And they can't over here because these Teslas are just absolutely bonkers. Uh, but the Teslas are, in a way, moving to the outside and almost trying to flank themselves. Uh, but, of course, when it's 30 versus 365,000, that's nearly impossible. So we're still seeing a bunch of these dudes just being thrown up into the air. And now we're starting to see body piles form. Of course, it doesn't really... It's not quite the same as if it were just SMG soldiers holding off a bunch of zombies. Uh, just because what happens is you'll just see one line of bodies, whereas here it's pretty much just all thrown around all over the place. It almost kind of looks like a crater, how the center is raised, and the outside you have a bit of a, a raised portion as well. Uh, but let's see here. I'm going to get into one of these... And this is the standard Chunk Norris, so I did not modify this at all. This is just how they are with all that health. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I wish you could jump in this. But it is what it is. A small price to pay for killing tons of zombies. Quite literally. I mean, this must be tons. I can just punch up, whatever, it doesn't matter. Come on. Come get some. Walker, Texas Ranger up in here. And see, like, I'm only getting one kill, two kills, three kills. Rarely do I get more than two kills uh, or three kills in a single kill or a single hit. But I'm throwing all these dudes up into the air with a single kill. It could be like 10 or 15 of them. And so, even though I'm only getting a very small amount of counted kills, I'm really killing a bunch of zombies, and that's really where a lot of this comes from. So let's back out. So we're starting to see a degradation of how many zombies are actually able to approach over here, and this is pretty much it. Uh, it appears as though we are now post-peak zombie, so, how they have peak oil in real life, we are seeing the end of the zombies. And I really do not suspect them to be able to get much farther. Um, at least with a competent John Wick. So, let's see here. I'm just going to kill them all. There we go. Well, at least you think you're going to try to kill them all, but I guess it doesn't really work that way all the time. But if you ever see, like, John Wick's firing errantly, that's exactly why. Because they cannot not fire errantly. They're not like John Wick in real life. And this is... Wow, this is amazing. So we now have the Chunk Norris is totally surrounded. And the only way that the left side is getting any amount of troop support is when they're coming off of this. It's almost like it's a... In orbit, in a way. And, like, you can just see these huge mounds of gray, dead zombies. Absolutely crazy. The Nikola Teslas 
are in very similar situation to the John Wicks, except for the John Wicks have now completely wiped out that side, and really they're only getting scraps from the middle. Whereas the Nikola Teslas are still facing off against a pretty sizable, though diminishing, number of soldiers over there. So I'm going to take one of these John Wicks, action man as they are in game. I'm going to run up here. Just get a bunch of kills. I already got almost a thousand kills by doing this. Just completely wipe them out. Like, see all those kills on the top right? How they're all kind of going on? That's me. Uh, that's largely me at this point. I'm just trying to make it so that... And they're all going for me because I'm the closest. I just want to make it so that my the rest of my Keanu Reeves, my John Wicks, will go with me. At this point, it's not like I'm really influencing the outcome of it, of this match, but rather uh, how much or how quickly it'll be done. Because it's it's already set in stone. I could probably just put two Chunk Norrises against all these zombies, and they'll win. It's just a matter of, do you want a 15-minute video, 20-minute video, or a two-hour long video? Uh, because I'm not down for a two-hour long video. Okay. Unfortunately, none of the heroes have any battle cries, as far as I can tell. Oh, that's unfortunate. He almost got me. And this is what happens when you are the only one out here. And it's good in a way. But also bad. This is freaky. Okay. Ah, oh, she hit me. She hit me. No. Okay. None to bad. So it appears, though, the Chunk Norris is pretty much one. Um, they're the only group, if I'm not mistaken, that's actually still in active combat here um, with their original group. So we have the Teslas fighting from the right side, just kind of peeling off here. And now you have the John Wicks no longer having their side kind of peel off to go get them. So they can just pretty much fire freely into this crowd of zombies Still wiping them out incredibly quickly, uh, just because, again, of that super bullet carnage. And now there's not enough zombies to truly encircle the Chunk Norrises um, at this point. So we have this scattered about body, mountain of bodies here. And it really goes back, if you want to consider it, I mean, all the way back here. Pretty much anywhere where these uh, Chunk Norrises went, and again, it is Chunk Norris, not Chuck, but Chunk in-game. Um, pretty much anywhere that they were, you see a scattered pile of bodies getting thicker to where they kind of ended up right here in the center because this is where the constant stream of zombies was, um, where they finally got encircled and could just fight their way wherever. But this almost kind of looks like a garbage dump in a way. In a way. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, but we are at the end here of this battle with only about 4,500 zombies left. So that said, let me know what you guys think about this type of gameplay in the comments below. Give me a crazy idea. If you want me to modify a specific unit to do crazy impact damage or a lot of splash damage and nothing else or whatever, I want some ideas, um, something because I've got a fair, fairly powerful enough computer where I should be able to run most simulations without breaking too much of a sweat. Uh, so I want to hear it. Either way, thank you again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. But that said, I will see you all on the other side. Action Man wins. Take care, everyone.